Hi guys, welcome to our SLGIS Assistant YouTube channel. Hope you have already watched our previous lessons and practiced various kinds of analysis. Today I am going to explain you about analyzing flood level and prepare our inundation map. So wait until the end of this video and take the experience of analyzing flood data for your project. This is a dam which belongs to my interested area and I have classified this with a suitable color range. Here you can see there are some low elevation areas along the river in blue color and also there are some high elevation areas in red color. The lowest elevation values of this area is 120 meters and highest elevation value is 2040 meters. Let's assume flood has maximum water level is 500 meters and we have to classify areas as water level below or equal 300 then water level 300 to 400 and water level above or equal 400 these are the water levels that i have explained in earlier okay first we have to extract the area which has dim value equal or below 500 because this is the maximum area which affected by maximum flood level before the analyze i am kindly Remember you that the values of flood level can be vary with your interested area. It means in lowlands mostly we have maximum flood level is 5 meter. In such areas you should reclassify your flood levels interval accordingly. Now I am going to classify the dam value equal or below 500. To do that go to arc toolbox then click on spatial analyst tool then expand math then go to logical then click on less than or equal tool here's the input raster or constant value 1 should be the dim here the input raster or constant value 2 should be typed as 500 and you can change the output location and output name here then click on ok now the water level area which is equal and below 500 is formed so the zero value part should be removed with removing color and value 1 part should be assigned suitable color here I am going to change the colors of zero here you can change the fill color as no color and outline color is no color then click ok and you can assign a suitable blue range value for this one value here I am going to assign a light blue for this area by following this method we can extract the area which has m value less than or equal 400 because this is the second flood level interval as I mentioned earlier the input raster value 1 should be the dim and the input raster value 2 should be typed as 400 and you can change the name or location from here then click ok now the dim which has value 400 and less than 400 is formed here also zero value should be removed and value 1 should be colored here I am going to use a small amount of dark blue for this than the previous one here you can clearly see the difference of the two flood levels by following this method we can extract the area which has stem value plus than or equal 300 now all the flood level have been created and colored with blue range colors then we should create three polygons for these three flood value areas to do that click on search tab then type as raster to polygon then click on search here you can choose the rastered polygon tool now I am going to add the input raster as 500 dim value and the field should be value then you can change the output location and folder name here you should remember to tick off the tick in simplify polygon then click on ok 
Now a complete polygon has been created and by opening attribute table of this polygon you can see in grid code column there are only two values which belongs to 0 and 1. In here the 0 value is not included to our defined area it means only value 1 area is the area which has maximum plot level. We need not to put these 0 value polygons so we can build in a query for this polygon. To do that right click on this polygon and go to properties here you should choose define query tab then click on query builder here you should be double click on grid code then click on equal then click on get unique values tab here you can see the 0 and 1 value we want only one value so we can double click on one before click on ok we can verify the expression we have created then click ok then click apply ok it's better to change the color of this area because it is the most damaged area in a high water level after creating this polygon we can turn off the dem value below 500 by following this procedure, we can create other two polygons and assign suitable colors with respect to the facade. Now we have inundation map with three water levels with different flood levels. You can add marginal information for this layout and export the meaningful map. This is the map which I have prepared with the flood analysis. Here you can follow my previous lesson regarding preparing a map layout video for preparing a complete map. Let's assume you should have calculated extent of these affected area separately for kind of disaster management purposes to do that we should have add new columns for extents in these every polygons if you want to calculate low flood area first right click on flood 300 polygon and click on open attribute table under this table option tab you can select add field here I am going to type the name as extend and change the type as double then click ok now we can calculate it areas by right click on the newly added column then click on calculate geometry here the property should be select as area and the units can be selected as your requirement here I am going to select square kilometers then click OK now all the extents have been calculated and we can take the total of this column by right click on this column then go to statistics here the field sum display the total extent of this area by following this procedure we can calculate areas of th these three flood levels you can take the affected area values to your projects and do further analysis regarding disaster management if you want to put this inundation map to your thesis you can change these layer names and prepare quality map okay this video will help you to do your further analyzing in disaster management such as predicting flood level in high rainfall situations and help to remove people from inundation areas Please leave a comment regarding this video and your suggestions for next lessons. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us.